hello friends you can see that there is an electric bulb and now i am going to show you how to draw this electric bulb in autocad so let's begin okay so at first select circle and draw a circle and radius will be 60 enter okay now select line find the midpoint and from the midpoint draw vertical line and distance will be 27.5 enter okay now from here select line and draw line distance will be 5 enter and vertical distance will be 2.5 enter 10 enter and again uh, 2.5 enter and enter okay close okay now select line again <coughs> and draw a horizontal line distance will be 10 enter <coughs> now switch off ortho mode okay now draw a line it will just select join the midpoint enter okay now uh, select this two okay not this one select this one and delete now select this one click on mirror and just mirror that enter okay now select arc starting radius arc now draw an arc and the radius will be 15 enter okay now select okay not now okay <coughs> now select a line and in this direction just 2.5 enter now switch an ortho mode now vertical line draw vertical line and distance will be 25 enter it will be 5 in this direction enter and just join this one enter now delete this one okay now select line again now from the midpoint it will be distance just 2.5 enter now in this it will be 7.5 enter okay now switch off ortho mode and join this enter okay select and delete now select this two mirror and join this to enter okay now select this one draw a line and horizontal line distance 25 enter okay now select line and so your fourth mode join enter okay now again select arc starting radius arc 
and from these two points to our arc and radius will be 10 millimeter 10 inter okay it is not taking 10 actually let's make 15 inter okay sorry uh one mistake delete also delete no okay skip this one select this and from these two points actually this point and this point it will be 10 enter okay now select this two select mirror click enter select this one delete okay now the upper portion is complete that's good okay now select line uh, select autonomo draw vertical line and okay distance will be 20 enter and in this direction 15 enter okay join this two okay now what can be done okay so select line from the midpoint draw a line and it will be 25 enter and in the downward direction it will be for mm, okay just five only five and this will be 50 yes 50 enter and five enter mm -hmm. so join this enter okay now Select this one, distance will be 5, enter, switch, our, switch our ortho mode and join, enter. Again select line, switch on ortho mode, 5, enter, enter again, select line, okay. Select this two, copy, just copy this one, enter. Okay. Now select this two, select this one. Okay. So how many you need to copy? Just copy this one, two. Okay. Just one. Two, three, four, five. Enter. Okay, now select line. Okay, enter. Okay, <clears throat> now we need a line. So from the midpoint, draw a line, it will be just fifteen. Enter. And this distance will be 10 enter. Enter again. Again, select line along this direction, it will be another 10. Enter. Okay. Now, delete this. Okay.
now select line from the midpoint the vertical line will be 5 into okay now select line at first <coughs> select 15 okay then 5 again enter now select line join enter now select this portion select on mirror just click on these two points enter this is two again select line five enter and it will be 22.5 enter and then join enter now select this to click on mirror enter again select line switch off ortho mode enter enter again then it line join this to enter delete now just uh, select gradient click here i need make the flow enter okay now I need to fill it actually this portion so just click on fill it select radius and it is will be 40 inter select this one and this one perfect again select fill it radius 40 is taken select this one and this one perfect now select this portion click on trim okay let's stream these portions enter okay just uh, the drawing is complete now just we can just put the dimension and if you just put the dimension it will be complete and now let's put the dimension uh, select linear at first okay let's put outside enter enter again again enter okay So I think I we can put uh, dimension later. Just uh, go back. Okay. Now just uh, select this one. I need to make the copy. Click on copy. Just copy the main drawing. Yes. Now in the copy drawing, I can make uh, put the dimension. Okay, it will be better. Okay. enter 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 okay enter <coughs> uh, 
Okay. Enter. It is five. Enter. Fifteen. Enter. Okay. Enter. Enter. Okay, enter again. <coughs> enter. Enter again. Enter again. Okay, we need to more. Enter. Now all the linear dimensions are complete. <coughs> okay, one more. Okay, now the radius. Enter. 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 Okay. Now our drawing is complete. And here you can see the full dimension. Hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like. Share with your friends and if you have any questions, just ask in the comment box. Thank you.